This tutorial will show you how to set up your own Course Sites account. Course Sites is the learning management platform that you will use to design and develop your own online course in the online educator specialization. Course Sites is a free version of Blackboard. You may have heard of Blackboard. It is a learning management platform that many universities around the world are using. It's a very popular platform. And if you have experience in using Blackboard, it gives you a little bit of a leg up when you are looking for work as an online educator. The first thing you want to do is say register. Once you get to the registration page, you're going to go ahead and put in your first name, your last name, your email address. Be sure, after entering your country, be sure to say that you are registering as an instructor. If you say you're registering as a student, you will not have access to designing your own online courses. So be sure and select professor instructor as a re your registration key, okay? Then you want to, you're welcome to say whatever you want in the rest of this. You, uh, here's a suggestion, put in Ashford University, or type not-for-profit. Why are you registering? Maybe to teach a class and your current role at the institution is a student. The next thing you wanna do is put your username in, okay? Whatever unique username you wanna enter here. And this is really important to remember this, so write it down or whatever you have to do to remember this information right here. And then your password, okay? Once you agree to all the terms, that you tell it you're not a robot, click Submit. At that point, you will receive an email from Blackboard and it will ask you to complete your registration. So go ahead and complete your registration at that point. All right, once you're logged in, you will be taken to a page that has uh, just kind of an overview. It's got some information that you could get started with if you want to. I suggest you just jump right down to the courses link over in the left-hand side. Let me just make this bigger here. So click on the courses link and notice now you are provided 10 free courses, okay? 10 free courses. There's five learning management courses called Ultra, and there's five called Original. Now, just as a background, the Original platform is the platform that many universities are still using. It's kind of a complicated interface, but it's incredibly powerful. Lots of options here in using this Original course. And again, many universities are very familiar with this. If you really, really wanna get a job, working at a university or someone who's using Blackboard as their learning management platform, I suggest you consider developing your course in the original platform. Otherwise, just to get your feet wet and just get started, go ahead and select the Ultra course version. You've got five of them. They give you a free example of an online course. This online course is pretty complicated but it gives you an idea of the power of the Ultra version. So there's a lot of different things you can do with it. And it shows you some of the features and tools that are available to you. To close up the course, you click the little X on the far left and you're back to the, the portal. For you to get started, we're gonna go ahead and click on your Ultra Course Shell 2, number two. And this is a course shell that lets you get started in designing your own online course. Now you can change the name of this, and I, uh, we ask that you do change the name of it. Change the name to your uh, first name, and then your last name, and a dash. And then just kind of make up a topic or a title for your course. Um, my course title, okay? Just make one up. You can always change it later, no problem. Clicking off of it saves it. Now, I'm also going to ask you to kind of get started in creating your course framework. The way to get started is just going right over here where it says get started. Click on the plus sign and say create. Go ahead and start with by creating a document. And this document 
will be called course description. Alrighty, and just add some content here. We'll go ahead and just say, this is a placeholder, okay? All right, save that. All right, now you've got your course description placeholder. There it is. Notice it's hidden from students. Go ahead and say visible. There you go. All right. To add content, you always want to click these little plus signs and it turns purple and highlights and you say create once again. Now we're going to create a folder because we're going to create the folders that will house your module one and your module two. So let's create module one folder first. We're going to click the folder and it's asking me over here to the right to give my folder name. I'm going to call it module one, just like that. Now I have a choice of making it visible to students here or on the main page, either way. And you don't even need to worry about a description. Go ahead and just say save. All right, it pops it to the top. All right, now I can add a new module here or I can add new content here, either one, any of these plus signs below. It will place, it should place the object underneath uh, if you click underneath an object it will place the object there let's go ahead and see if it will put our module two between course description and module one so i'm going to click that and say create a new folder and module two all right and we'll go ahead and make it visible to students and say save Okay, I actually put my module two above my module one, that's okay, because I'm going to sh move those around. I'm gonna shift it. I'm gonna shift course description to the top. The way I move it is over to the right, the up down arrows, grab those arrows, drag it to the top and release. Oh, it went into my module two. That will probably happen to you as well. So try it again, grab that course description, Drag it up above the module to no, it's not going to let me do that. Okay, so in that case, I'm gonna move module two below module one, at least get that in the right place. Now, um, open up course description. It is still not gonna let me put it above, will it? It might, let's try it. There you go. So as you can see, these little up down arrows are kind of wonky and they're even worse if you have a poor internet connection, just have patience with moving your content around. All right, so here I am. I've got a course description, a module one and a module two. The last thing you need to do is just share, <clears throat> pardon me, share this course, share your course with your instructor. Okay, this is really important. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that right here. You go over to the left and you click on roster. Just click that roster. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and add or invite students by going over to the far right. Again, there's that little circle with a plus sign inside of it. When I hover, it says invite students. And instead of entering somebody's email address, sometimes I have difficulty receiving these, just go all the way to the bottom and get that shareable link. This is the easiest way. You don't have to get somebody's email address. You don't have to do anything. Grab that shareable link. At this point, you can say cancel. You can go over to your um, Blackboard or to whatever. Um, account you want to, email account, and you can put in here is my uh, course sites course, and then, um, you know, let us know what your name is <laughs> in case you have a, a secret email that is very um, hard to decipher, put your name in at the top, okay? And then send that to your instructor. That link will let them into your course, okay? All right, and so when you're finished, close that back up, and you will find that your instructor is now added to your course. Okay, good enough. Thank you so much.